Hey everybody, RPG here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up a Wii Remote on Bobacera to get into Nintendo Wii games. So let's get started. All right, so in order to set up your Nintendo Wii Remote with Nintendo Wii on Bobacera, first thing we're going to need is a Wii Remote. So you can see here, this is a genuine original Wii Remote from Nintendo. I find that these work much better than the third-party ones that are floating around Amazon. Um, not to say that, though, that all of those are bad or going to give you a hard time, but I just find that the original ones are much more reliable. I got this particular one off of eBay for just $15, so you can definitely find them. And like I said, this one's used. You can see it's a little bit beat up, but I could care less how it looks cosmetically as long as it functions all the same, and it does. So besides that, you're going to need your Mayflash Dolphin Bar. That's this sensor down here I have mounted underneath my TV. There's two settings on there. One is for bottom, one is for top. You're going to set that to whether you mount on the bottom or on the top. So in this case, it's underneath my TV, so I have it set to bottom. That plugs into your PC via USB port. And you want to make sure that you boot up your system with that already plugged in. Once it's plugged in and booted up and in mode 4, you're going to hit your pair button on both your Mayflash Dolphin Bar as well as on your Wii Remote. And once you pair it up, you're going to get this light right here. So there's four LEDs across the bottom of the Wii Remote. You want to make sure that the one furthest to the left is lit up. That's going to indicate that everything is paired up correctly and everything's going to work for you. So besides that, we're going to need an additional gamepad controller just to get in and out of games because we don't have hotkey enable programmed on our Wii Remote. So I'm going to be using today my wired PlayStation style controller right here. So I'm going to jump into a Nintendo Wii game and we're going to jump into Wii Sports today. So we're going to let this load in. And now this should actually pair up with the Mayflash Dolphin Bar on its own. If you heard over me talking there and heard the prompt in the background, you could hear this vibrate and that beep. That means that everything is paired properly. If you don't get that, all you have to do is hit A and the trigger back here, which is B, at the exact same time, and you're gonna get this up and running. So I'm gonna jump into the game here, and it should ask me to hit A and B at the same time. So you can see right there it says press A and B, so I'm gonna do exactly that. And just like that, I'm into the game. So let's try moving it around. You can see I'm able to move my uh, cursor around on here. I'll show you like this a little bit harder because I'm a little bit too close to that sensor. I got to back up a little bit. So let's just jump into a game just to show you that everything does function properly. So we'll just do a single game here just to show you again that everything's functioning properly. So I'm not going to be able to show you this because I need to be a little bit further away from my um, sensor there in order to have this register. Let's see if I can do it up there so you can see. No, see it doesn't register that close. But as long as I'm back here, um, I'm about, I'd say, five, six feet away from my sensor. Everything is functioning properly. So. Let me do one more serve. So as you can see from this process, it is super easy to set up a Nintendo Wii Remote on Bodicera to get into these Wii games. When I first started messing around with this, trying to figure out how to go about setting this up, you know, I was coming off of doing the same thing with RetroPie, and if you've ever set up Wii Remote on RetroPie to get into light gun games, you know that that is an absolute nightmare most times. So this, uh, you know, I was expecting to be similar sort of setup. Uh, I started trying to map this controller originally, and then I realized that you literally, all you have to do is just pair it to your Mayflash Dolphin Bar, make sure you're in the right mode. And then it's literally as simple as just hitting that A and B button in most cases. So uh, couldn't be an easier process out there. I've set up tons of different controllers on a bunch of different emulation platforms, and this is by far the easiest process I've ever come across. So if you have any questions or anything like that, please hit me up in the comment section below. I'm always happy to help you guys out any way I possibly can. If you haven't yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, be sure to do that. We do a ton of different things based around retro gaming. We do product reviews, tutorials, gameplay demos, just a lot of great content here on this channel. So definitely hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and you found it helpful to you. And of course, check us out online on our website www.retropieguy.com.
Thanks for watching.